Hey, how's it going, guys? Me, David, here for a, another shave. If you are just joining me, you just missed out on a shave by my wonderful wife, Rocio. Hi, guys. Yeah, when she does a shave, you, you guys usually get a lot of the Gonzalez family because I usually do a video right after. <laughs> um, she did an amazing job, shaved her face. So if you haven't seen that video yet, push pause on this one, open up another window, and watch that one first. But if not, go ahead and stay at uh, if you already watched that, go ahead and stick around with me. Today, I'm actually not going to focus in on any particular soap. Well, at least not the shave soap. Today, I'm actually going to, for the very first time, use a pre-shave soap. And today, I'm going to be using a sample that I got at the Big Shave West, uh, Phoenix Arson Accouch Accoutrements Mentholated Ice. So, uh, pretty much what this is supposed to be is a pre-shave and a lather booster. So, today, I decided to use a soap that I actually love the scent. But the performance is lacking a bit. It's a melt and pour soap, and I have nothing against melt and pour soaps, but I have a tendency to not get the best slickness from them, even though you would think so, because they're typically glycerin based, but they just, this one particularly lacks a little in performance. It performs well enough, don't get me wrong. By no means is it a bad soap, but it is not on the level of a Katie's Bubbles and a typical Phoenix shaving soap or, you know. Uh, chisel face along, along all those lines. So I'm going to give this a try for the very first time. Again, today is going to be a, another straight razor shave because, again, I miss straight razor shaving. So I'm going to go ahead and wet my face. Some nice hot water. And since the wife has the makeup done and her hair did, she, she decided to stick around for, for this video. Wow. It's not very common that you brush your hair, babe, so I'm happy you're here. Wow. <laughs> Wow. So I'm going to go ahead and load up the soap. It's late. I don't have a comeback right now. <laughs> I will work on it. I'm going to take advantage while I can. You while should. While the sleeping bear lies. You should. Get a nice strong load on this. It's been a while since I used this. I don't even remember what's an appropriate amount of uh, loading time, but we'll see. Why don't you tell the story about that soap? Because I've already told it twice. And oh, have know, you? Yeah, and I don't want to focus in on that. So, wet my face. I'm going to go ahead and rub the pre-shave soap. Is that the way you're supposed to do it? Yeah, it's supposed to be against the grain. So, these uh, pre-shave soaps have actually be, uh, become pretty damn popular. On occasion, I would use just a regular glycerin-based uh, bar soap that I would get like at... Um, like CVS writing. And then I found um, an oxima, which is cool, has a slight touch of menthol, but it doesn't linger over. Now, this is cool because I love menthol, as you guys know, but I also enjoy the scent of my soap. So, this is it's an unscented soap. You do smell the menthol to an extent, but if I could have had a little menthol kick to all my show, soaps, I'm a happy camper. So, I hope I have enough loaded. Um, we'll see. Looks good. Yeah, it's actually lathering up easier. So, the point for a lather booster, I actually think they may be on to something. Because mm -hmm. this is actually lathering up pretty damn easier. It's, this, again, this open is not super hard to lather, but it's usually not this easy either. And I'm getting a lot of it. Well, maybe, maybe the formulation is different this time. No, this is still the old puck I have. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. Well, you shut the hell up, me. <laughs> yeah, I've already been over the story with this soap already, so I don't want to get into it again. Oh. Again, I don't want to taint nobody. I know this company is back and trying to get back into the flow of things, so I wish them well. I don't wish bad on nobody, so hopefully they... They do right by their customers this time around. We go back on track. Yeah. So, definitely got a cool lather. Again, it's not going to be that thick, yogurty lather, but it's definitely nice enough. You didn't get the little butt crevice on your chin there, buddy. What butt crevice? Right there, underneath your lip. Oh, because I don't shave there all the time. Oh. I don't need to, I really don't grow much hair, any hair there. It doesn't, it doesn't look right. Fine. Thank you. Make you feel better? Yes. Go to sleep. Good. That, that means a lot to me. It does. I'm glad. So let's check it out. Again, straight razor shave. I like that straight razor. 
Jesus, you're loud. You do realize it's kind of late, don't you? Yeah. I think this razor is finally due for another honing. Then I'm going to send it over to Anthony. Where'd you get that straight razor? I have to send you outside. <laughs> you haven't answered my question. I've told the story many times on the straight razor. I don't watch your videos. Tell me. Man, you don't need, then you should go back and watch all my other videos. That's too many videos. It's like you have nothing else to do. I don't. You fall asleep by 10 o'clock every night. Go cut the grass or something. We don't have grass. It's all dirt. Go cut the dirt. Aren't you ever afraid you're gonna sneeze while you're shading? No, because not like it comes suddenly or surprising. I'd be scared. I'm gonna cut in my throat. It wouldn't even take you to sneeze to really to damage yourself. You damage yourself just standing there. It's not true. Hmm? It's not true. Yes, it is. Yeah, this razor is definitely due for a honey. I'll give it this one last shave before I ship it off. Actually trying to be nice, but yeah, he probably did. Can't blame everything on AJ. Not everything, just what's his fault. Well, no. And if you did something wrong, it's your fault because you're the one teaching him. And you're the teacher. He's the student. I can only babysit him so much. Teach him right. So somebody on the forums actually asked, I think it was today, if there was any real point to rinsing up the lathers in between passes is there not really uh i kind of noticed though why well why i like to rinse it off is because like say like all the lather right here that i'm not getting off with with the razor and that starts to dry out gets flaky it just gets kind of gross feels uncomfortable <laughs> it's just in the way so mm -hmm. it's like why not just get it off kind of start start fresh every time mm-hmm you got plenty of lather in your in your brush, so why not? Yeah. So is it necessary? No, but whatever makes you feel comfortable. You know, it's keeping your workplace tidy. Mm -hmm. You know, anybody that's ever like cooked in the kitchen profession, or even at home, you know, when you have a messy countertop, it makes everything pretty inconvenient. It kind of slows you down. So no wrong with just cleaning the, the workspace. Right. But to each their own. If it doesn't bother you, yeah, there's definitely no. Keep retouching it. It doesn't matter. There's no rule. I don't know what it is, but this damn razor feels smoother going against the grain than with it. Okay, so for those of you guys that actually watched my video, um, <laughs> not you, obviously. not me, no. Uh -huh. um, for those of you guys that watched my video with the Gillette Fat Boy, I kind of made a mistake. What? Yeah, who the thunk it? It's a disclaimer. Um, when I was using it, I actually started off as a, at a six, and then for some odd reason, I thought it'd be a smart thing. To actually go more aggressive when I was going against the grain. Oh, Shaggy. What'd you do? You just... What'd you do? Say weirdness. Yeah. What'd you do? Good Lord. I'm going to have to ban her from the 
in the restroom. That's right. So, I actually got some irritation on my neck. Not to the fault of the razor, but I'm an idiot and I probably shouldn't have gone more aggressive with my... It's never the razor's fault. It's always the user. Can we agree on that? No, that's not true because it could be a junk razor. Oh, whatever. Not the, the, the tool is a tool. It's there. It's not going to change on you. And more fun is... It's how you use it. That's not necessarily true. It is true. No, no, that's not true. Because you could have some oh. junk. You could have a junk razor that does not work properly. Mm. Like there's this nuts razor that was going around in a pass around that had like no safety bar on it. That's just stupid. Yeah, that's just a generally nuts uh, concept. But if you know it does, I mean, again, if you know what you're dealing with, then you can blame the the, the tool. It's already there. It has no safety bar. Duh. Yes, but it's still a dangerous shit to use. It's, just don't use it. Yeah, exactly. That's why I didn't use it. I'm just saying, don't blame the damn, damn, damn thing. It's there. You're just disagreeing for the sake of disagreeing. No, I'm not. You're being really miserable I'm right making now. sense. Like, how, like, how can't you be delightful like when I'm in your videos? Oh, I actually I actually help. No, you don't. But, again, it's just... Because I'm not... If you don't agree with what you're saying, I'm not going to agree with you. Stupid. So uh, you irritated your skin, right? Because you were a dummy and, and you went more aggressive, right? Is that mm -hmm. what you're trying to say? Yes. And you originally said what? I didn't say anything. I just did that on camera and it was a mistake. So why is the last pass have less lather? Usually because it just starts running out. Mm. And that's not actually a common issue that, that people have on melting pores. Mm -hmm. The lathers have a tendency to die out a bit quicker. Mm -hmm. But they're not just in general, you know, you're using, you're using a, a good amount of the lather. Isn't it, so why don't you just lather up better? I mean, load the brush more. Is that going to irritate your skin? Um, I'm not. My skin generally isn't very sensitive, so I don't need to. Could I, could I? Yes. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Sure. Yes. If you feel that you're lacking slickness because the the soap dried out too much or is not giving you enough protection, don't be uh, lazy. No, lazy or cheap. Some people are just actually scared to revisit the pug because they yeah. feel like they're wasting product. But again, there are those people that are not like us that have fifty soaps. So doesn't know, but you should always worry about your skin as opposed to, you know, wasting just, an extra couple cents. Yeah, again, I feel that way, but there's still people that only shave with Williams Shave Soap to spend a dollar, you know? Oh. Some people are thrifty. I don't want to say cheap, but they're just, they're minimalist and they try to save as much money as possible. And that's fine to each their mm -hmm. own. Right. I just, again, do my, my advice, especially if you do this as a hobby and not just a means to a means to end. Mm -hmm. um, do whatever you have to do to make sure that your shave is comfortable. Mm -hmm. Right now, I'm running the water so you get cold. So if you need to revisit the puck at any at any point, you should. Yeah, there's, 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 it's, it's not worth having a bad shave mm -hmm. or beat your skin up just because you don't want to waste or use a little bit more soap. Yeah, because th again, there's a lot of cheap options in terms of soap. You could go Razor Rock. Um, I know. I think. Um, Mama Bear soap is pretty cheap. The soap I'm using today, the Holy Black, goes for like 10 bucks. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of inexpensive soaps, and even a lot of the higher end soaps. It's worth you. It's worth you putting an extra, uh, you know, a few more cents. Mm, yeah. So. Hey, why don't you use my witch hazel? Um, cause I don't need the scent. Oh, that's right. I have a lavender witch hazel guy. That's why I'm telling him to use, and he's using like the unscented one. I like the original. It's cool. Again, it's a nice, clean witch hazel that doesn't smell anything or like bad. Like I, I smelled the hum, the Humphreys. Ooh, yeah, it was and it's just disgusting. Sorry, so, I like it. With this one today, I'm actually thinking I'm gonna go with Aqua Velva. Mm. Doesn't particularly go with that scent, but I love Aqua Velva, so why not? I like it too. And then Aqua Velva has a menthol, and yeah, the wife loves it. I like it. it. I'm telling you guys, if he puts on something I don't like, I will make him go back and take it off. It's not cool. So that's fantastic. I was real careful because I have a pimple on the stash area. 
Uh, Don't Daphne, not pretty. Yeah, this is one of those things that uh, the last three days at work, I was working out in the fields today. Yeah, actually, the last three days. So just all the dirt kicked up in my face, and it got me. It is what it is. Um, but hey, guys, thank you for joining me on this shave. Um, the wife harassed me as expected throughout, throughout the whole it's one. Not harassment. Yes, it was. It was just downright harassment. Oh God. I think you kind of took away from my spot.